All right, guys. I'm here with my buddy William Jackson. We've known each other when I was flying jets 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago. We would uh, go to all the jet rallies, Michigan Jets, whatever. Part of Ohio. Yeah. It's, Winnemac. You know, Superman. Guess what? I was a lot younger, and he was too. It's hard to believe he's like 70. So, <laughs> but anyway, William lives up in uh, near Akron or yeah, Worcester, Ohio. Worcester, Ohio. And um, he custom builds airplanes, and I'm going to actually let him do the talking so he can tell you about it, what he does. And you guys can check him out on his Facebook and YouTube, but uh, he is a custom builder. He's a good friend of mine, and I hope you guys enjoy this little interview. First of all, if you want to find me, it's on Facebook, Fans of William Jackson Custom RC Planes. You'll see all my work there. And uh, what we're looking at here today is an HSD T33 that has been a two-seater that has been customized heavily to be a one-seater F80C model. It uh, started off four inches longer. I cut it four inches short at the intakes and moved the intakes back re-blended the plane back together and took one inch took one inch right here out of the plane and squished it back this way and so that's no longer making it a T33 I added the uh, wing tanks which are droppable I can release these anytime in flight the 500 pound bombs are Droppable. They're from Legend Hobbies, so they'll they'll drop off and they'll explode on contact, and we fill them up with flour, so that uh, that makes that effect. It is a real airplane, 1949, uh, Flegel Eagle. Miss Barbara Ann was one of the planes there. I did add the gun ports, 3D printed. We added the 3D printed vents. 3D printed ladder. That was Frank Born out of Germany. Designed them for me, sent me the STL file, and uh, Mike Manaka in Toledo does all my printing for 3D prints. Uh, this plane has uh, decals done by red5designs.com. He does all my decal work. BVM Jets did the canopy, windshield, and the wing tanks for me. This air intake system, I designed it to be just like the scale one. These vents are open when the gear is down. When the plane takes off, these vents close just like the real one. The canopy does slide. And that's something I did because it, I did the turtle deck, the windshield, the full cockpit. The dashboard, there's like six magnets that hold this canopy closed. Um, I did all this hand painted hard work. Uh, this is a decal, but this I did myself. And uh, it has wheel brakes, has landing gear lights. Um, when you buy this model from HSD, the wing is perfectly straight. So I had to put dihedral in it. I had to split the wing inside internally and build a whole new mechanism. So these are slide-on wings so that you got dihedral in the plane now. And uh, it has speed brakes under there. It has speed brakes. Gear doors. Landing brakes, landing lights. Um, what else do we have here? Well, I have some questions for you. When did you start the project? I started this project last October 25th, 2024. And it took me six months to finish it. Finished it April 24th, which is just a couple days ago. And I stayed up all night just to get it done. So... A little bit at a time. Oh, yeah. all of the rivets that you see on this plane are put on by hand, one at a time, listening to music. So, what kind of music do you listen to? I well, really, these are like I listen to old time radio shows on YouTube. 
and I'll just put on some Sherlock Holmes or some sci-fi show and just listen to a, a story for two hours while I'm doing these rivets. And you're just doing them one at a time, just, and you get, next thing you know, you're done. In a couple of days, you're finished. So, uh, the detail work here, these vents here are 3D printed. Frank Bourne designed those for me, just like the real one. When you buy this from the factory, these vents are like this big. They're out of scale, so I had to do it the right scale. Um, so this was a T33 converted to a P80. F80. F80, single seater. Single seater. The pilot is from warbirdspilots.com. That's where I got the pilot from. Um, I got it from Gator RC, really. Okay. They are the only ones who had it in stock. And uh, these doors, this opens just like the real one, but I use it to put my two 6S batteries in here. Uh, the fan unit, it's a 120 millimeter EDF fan unit. The fan unit is right here. And uh, what else do we have here? I like, actually, I like that ladder. Put that ladder back on there. It, it's really cool in scale, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I, I wanted it to, when I saw the picture in the real life, I said, I got to have the ladder. As you can tell, William is a true modeler, hobbyist modeler. He likes to make things right. I never would have got into this had it not been for a guy named David Ag. He's here over there. He walked up to me one day and he saw my T28 that I did. I went to uh, E-Jets and I took my prop plane there and he walked up to me and he says, man, you got an eye for scale. Why don't you get into scale modeling? And I'm like, I don't know what that is. And this is the end results of it now. And that's course, another thing, if you're not into hobby, what does scale mean? It means realistic. Realistic as you can get it, you yeah. know. Uh, like, if you look in there, you'll see the gauges. Uh, you know, trying to do the, wet, the weathering is done with graphite. Take some graphite sticks, crush them up, and smear it on the plane, and then just wipe it off. And what's left over is what you get that grayish look. Um, also, if you look down this way on the body, you'll see how it's got that swipe look out of that. That's done with a Brillo pad. You take a Brillo pad and you just swipe it like this to get that grain look in it, like aluminum has. And right here you can see where I swiped it going this way with the wind. And so you get that realistic like it was wind worn. Now I didn't swipe this area. So that's why you get the three different shades. It's where you swipe it and you don't swipe it. Now you look like you got separate panels. I'm giving away all my secrets, but I can't <laughs> tell you guys anymore. Everybody will be doing it. All right, so William, thank you for the interview. Thanks for the walk around. You guys can see that this F80, actually, yeah, it's an F80, right? It's an F80 now. I keep wanting to say P, but that's Pursuit. P, pursuit. We're actually a fighter. When it went to Korea, they changed it to fighter. Okay, see, he, he's telling some history, but uh, thanks for the interview, thanks for the walk around. This airplane is amazing, it's foam, that's one thing he, he didn't really tell you it's it's a foam injected airplane he did all this and changed it around um it's just a beautiful airplane william so yeah, thank you don't I, forget to uh look me up on fans of william jackson custom rc planes on facebook uh, on facebook and youtube yeah here's another little fun fact as i'm working on on my airplane the mig about two o'clock in the morning i might text him he's sitting there working on his at the same time so yeah. it's yeah. kind of funny it's like our uh, midnight oil. We're burning it. So, oh, yeah. all right. Until then, blue skies. <laughs>